hi welcome back to my channel if you are new please hit subscribe show me some love and support on this channel um this is my makeup that i got on i was trying to do a um autism look um this is for the um puzzle color puzzle pieces and this is for um the blue autism speaks um yeah so i try my best i love putting extra highlights i love the highlight uh, i'm not that good at makeup so i'm so sorry if you're new hey i'm melissa you can call me mel for short m-e-l-l -L. um yeah i really want to react to all lots of autism spectrum videos um so i took each clips i found and just put them together so i can watch it all because I want to watch them and it's good because then you can get educated and you can learn and you can see my reactions to them um yeah autism awareness okay all the time not just in April but every single day just you have to like try to understand us you know all right so here I'm going to react to it My name is Chris Cortale, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kindness 101. I'm watching it here. Kindness so means treating right others here. how you would like them to treat you. Uh, kindness means being charitable. Just doing nice things for people and not wanting anything in return. Treating people in the most compassionate and caring way that you can, given the circumstances. Kindness is meaningful. Kindness is a powerful thing. Kindness is love. Kindness to the autism community means a person understanding the individual with autism and not just with autism with anything that goes on in life your kindness is your greatest strength and you never forget to use it someone is always there to encourage me someone is always there to say you got this right we just want some acceptance. yeah exactly that's all we want help create a kinder world for people with autism like me that's so true help make a kinder world for people with autism that's true and just not just an autism but for anyone So much has changed since Autism Speaks was founded 15 years ago. Finding out that your child is diagnosed with something that you had no knowledge of was extremely challenging. We've made great progress, we've listened, and we've learned. I found Autism Speaks, and that's where we found so many of the very first services for him. Today, we're reintroducing ourselves as we enter a future filled with even more growth and potential. Well, it feels like Bridget was behind a set of closed doors, and the doors are open. On our 15th birthday, we're sharing a new, more inclusive Autism Speaks. I don't like no negatives. <laughs> I don't like negativity. <laughs> Representing the infinite diversity of perspectives mm. and experiences of people with autism. Don't let anybody yeah, stop you from, exactly, you yes. know, from achieving your dreams and your goals. Learn more about the new Autism Speaks mm. at AutismSpeaks.org. Introducing the new Autism Speaks. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, this is wonderful. Wow. But what do you think? Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. And I get it. Pink and yellow. They're like a yellowish, orangish. It's like a rainbow. I really like the rainbow uh, pu puzzle piece. It's really, it's really cool. It's all inclusive, all encompassing. For a long time, I've loved the blue puzzle piece uh, that we all first were uh, exposed to. Um, and now, so it's an improved version, and, I, and it's more reflective of, you know, where we're going, not where we were. What is autism? The colors are so beautiful. So I'm watching it on my laptop. Autism is a lifelong disability which affects how people, like me, communicate and interact with the world. There are about 700,000 adults and children on the autism spectrum in the UK. And like everyone, each autistic person has their own strengths and yes. challenges. 
But all of us have difficulties with communicating and interacting with other people. This could mean not speaking at all, needing longer to process information or not understanding facial expressions. We also engage in repetitive behaviour, doing or thinking the same thing over and over. This is sometimes for fun and sometimes to help deal with our anxiety. People on the autism spectrum can also find unexpected changes, however small, very distressing. And then there is sensory overload, where noise, smells, touch, yeah, bright lights become very painful and overwhelming. All these challenges can make the world feel very scary and hard to understand, and sometimes send us into physical and emotional meltdowns or shutdowns. It is very important that autistic people get help from an early age. But life can become very difficult if children or adults don't get the right support or understanding. Autistic children are three times more likely to be excluded from school. Only one in six autistic people in the UK have a full-time job. And over a third of autistic adults have reported serious mental health problems. The National Autistic Society is the UK's leading charity for autistic people. Since 1962, we have been changing society's attitudes and transforming individuals' lives. We want to create a society that works for autistic adults and children. And with your help, we can. Can you make it to the end? I'm autistic and I just get too much information. Wow. Diverted. And that scares me. I'm autistic, and the fear of unexpected changes can make leaving the house impossible. And finally tonight, April is Autism Awareness Month, and during these difficult times, we thought it was appropriate to bring you one family's heartwarming story, which fortunately, we were able to shoot inside their home before this pandemic reached our shores. So Cameron, do you want to come over and read the book with me for a moment? Yes. Yeah. All right. This is no ordinary book. Everybody says I'm going to school. It tells the story of a journey. When you have autism like I do. So I just don't say a thing. A six-year-old girl named Cameron who's going to school for the very first time. I'm Only she doesn't get. talk. Cameron has autism. So initially when she first went to school, she didn't talk. She wouldn't make eye contact. Uh, she didn't know how to communicate, hold conversations. If anybody would ask her anything, she just wouldn't respond. So it was difficult for this fun-loving little girl with the dimpled cheeks and smiling eyes to make friends. And so initially, like a lot of her friends thought she was being mean 
or she didn't like them because she didn't talk to them. It's not that she wouldn't talk, she couldn't but, talk. Right, because of the social anxiety related to some children who have been diagnosed with autism. And so I was talking to my husband and I said, you know, we are educating adults about autism, telling adults what are the things you need to look out for, what are some of the signs, you know, talking about early intervention, but who's talking to kids about autism? Where are the books that are educating Cameron's classmates that this is what a person with autism may look like? When Shaletta Brundage couldn't find such a book, she set out to write one. I called a local publisher and I was like, hey, let's have coffee. Shaletta is not an author by trade. That's oh, great. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. But since three of their four children have autism, it does make her a bit of an expert. Wow! Good job, everybody! Her positivity oh, and perseverance God. willed this book into existence. I want that book. Let me get that book. How to answer your prayer, This is the answer prayer. Here it is. Here it is. That's my baby's book, girl. She's a superhero. She's a superhero in the book. Because everybody else is going crazy around her, but she's just calm and collected. And even though she couldn't talk, we didn't make that a detriment in the book. We made that uh, something that gave her strength. As a result of time and therapy, Cameron is now not only talking, she's reading and thriving. Can we go to school by Shaletta Brundage? Who's that, Shaletta Brundage? Who? Mommy! Mommy! We finished up the book and we're ready to, you know, just do something different and amazing for Autism Awareness Month and try to educate young kids, classmates. And this is not just for the classmates, but it's also for Cameron herself, It's, it's right? also for Cameron, my baby, because she did not see herself in these books. Yeah, exactly. She was checking out of the library different. week after week. And so she doesn't see a lot of herself reflected in her environment and in her community. What do you tell your friends it means to have autism? Um, it means you learn something different. All of Shaletta's children learn differently from each other, and ultimately she plans to write a book about each of them, chronicling their unique experiences. But her latest brainchild is already underway. She's rented a bookmobile to give away hundreds of her books for free to librarians and teachers across Minnesota. The first one to get her hands on the final finished product, the subject of the book, I Cameron. want it! I want the book! She can hardly contain her excitement. Thanks to Shaletta for sharing Cameron's story with us. And one more video to watch. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Billy Jade. Connor. Arled. Dunn. Jesse Jackson. Andy. Kevin Chapman. Leslie. Max J. Green. Purple Ella. Savan. Says Francis. This World Autism Awareness Week, we are working with the National Autistic Society to change attitudes, build understanding and to create a society that works for autistic people. 99% of people have said that they have heard of autism. But do they know what being autistic really means? Even though understanding of autism has grown, millions of people still think silly, damaging and totally wrong things about people like us. About six million people seem to think that autism is a curable condition or a mental illness. Uh-uh, it's not either of these things. And 6.6 .6 million people seem to think you can cure autism. No, you can't. Autism is a lifelong developmental disability that affects how people understand everything around them and interact with others. And both adults and children can be autistic. So, since so many people still don't know what autism is, mm. we asked autistic people and their families what it is they want people to know about autism. And they told us these five things. Autistic people often... One, feel anxiety about changing unexpected events. This one definitely affects me. Simple, small things in life, like the shower not working in the morning, can really throw off my entire day. Number two, be under or oversensitive to sound, smell, light, taste and touch. This is called sensory sensitivity. Three, need time to process information like questions or instructions. Four, face high levels of anxiety in social situations. Pimp. You can find out more about the five things at autism.org.uk slash W-A-A-W. We know that the public wants to help, but they aren't always sure what they can do. The National Autistic Society, with the help of thousands of autistic people and their families, have created some handy tips for the public to follow. Everyone loves a good tip, right? Understanding what may be a minor inconvenience to you can be distressing to an autistic person. Give as much notice as possible about any changes or unexpected events occurring.
Remember that quiet areas can be an escape for autistic people from the hubbub or liveliness of a party, office, shop or other public space. Make sure there is somewhere to retreat to for your autistic guests, colleagues, friends or family. Clear communication is good for everybody, so take the time to explain things clearly and give people time to process and respond. When organising a social event, give plenty of notice and as much information of what to expect as possible. Understand that everyone communicates in their own way and at their own pace. If you ask someone a question, give them lots of time to reply. Try and count to ten in your head rather than asking them the same question again. Do not rely on body language or facial expressions as some autistic people who struggle with this. There are more tips available at www.autism.org.uk for you to read and share. Strange. Antisocial. Rude. Troll. These are all the ways which autistic people have been described and these insults have increased. So what can we do? We know that seeing autistic people like Chris Packham and Greta Thunberg and characters in these centres and Hollyoaks has helped change the public strange. perception of autism. But it doesn't stop there. Autism affects everyone differently. And it's important that all autistic experiences, including those with higher support, support needs, are included. The National Autistic Society knows the power of telling autistic people stories. And last year, we launched stories from the spectrum to tell even more. You can read them all at autism.org.uk slash stories. Yes, over half of all people in the UK have a connection to someone autistic. Whether that's a family member, friend, colleague or someone else. This means that there are more people than ever need to understand how they can help. Thank you for watching. If you need support, visit autism.org.uk. Please like, share and comment on this video so that we can make sure as many people as possible understand what they can do to be more helpful to autistic people. Have a great World Autism Awareness Week. Oh. For me, it should be Autism Awareness Month. <laughs> it's a great video to watch and to learn about autism. I'm gonna watch plenty more. Wow. And maybe make some more reaction videos. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video. Um, I hope you learned something about autism, the spectrum. It's, it affects every person differently, like they said. Um, yeah. Show love and support, alright? Subscribe to my channel for more videos, story times, mental health, and LGBTQ plus content. Links are down below. Links, play playlists, playlists are down there, alright? For more videos, so you guys check them out. Show me love, some love and support on my channel. Subscribe, you know, I want my subscribers to go up. More views, more subscribers. I love my subscribers, alright? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alright? At Living Dead Girl Melissa, right? Twitter, Living Dead Girl, me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, hit the bell. Don't forget to hit the bell. Make sure, make sure your post notifications is on so you can get notified. All right. Mwah. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.